Welcome to Movies and Munchies. I'm Biliana Reyes. And I'm Lauren Craig. And we are actually doing our first ever episode. I'm very excited. How do you feel about that? I'm really excited about this. A little bit nervous, but I'm excited because we're here to talk about two things I really like, which are movies and food. So... <laughs> Our first ever episode, we are going to talk about Extraction. It is a movie with Chris Hemsworth in it, who plays Tyler. He is a merchant that tries to rescue this drug lord's son, and it just goes crazy from there. It's filled with actions and stunts. And for our munchies... We are eating Ben & Jerry's Netflix and Chill, the brand new flavor by Ben & Jerry. Um... Yeah, it has peanut butter, ice cream with sweet and salty pretzel swirls, and fudge brownies. And fun fact about Ben & Jerry's, all of their flavors have a non-dairy option, which is amazing because I'm lactose intolerant. So I have the, the dairy-free option. <laughs> I'm actually trying it while you were talking. It tastes amazing. Ooh, let me get a good brownie chunk in there. I haven't got a brownie chunk, but like I love the the peanut butter ice cream flavor. Like it's not too heavy, and then also like the sweet pretzel. Oh, I love it. That is good. That is really really good. The peanut butter ice cream is super creamy, and the brownie is when once you hit a brownie, it's great. So, what would you rate this? Um, this ice cream. I'm going to say, like, out of five stars, this is a five for me. Yeah, five. Five is all around. Thank you, Ben and Jerry's. So, the first question I have for you is, what about those stunts? How do you feel that those stunts went? Oh, my gosh. I was thoroughly impressed with every action scene in this movie. I thought that they were all really great. Um, and the whole time I was watching these stunts, I was like, how do they, I mean, there was, there was so much action in this movie, people getting killed left and right constantly. And I was just like, how do you choreograph all of this? Like, this is insane. Think about like all the stamina that he has to like mentally and physically prepare for. It's crazy. Would you ever do a job like this like would you ever be a chris hemsworth badass going to extract people um or like be like in the military type of job have you ever thought about doing that one thing you don't know about me is that i did serve in the military in the army what i like loved everything physical about it like i loved being out in the field and shooting my weapon the only thing I didn't like was like sitting in the desk, so that was pretty like challenging. But overall, like I loved everything outside, <laughs> so I think I would definitely do it. I would be a little bit hesitant about like the killing part because I, not really a sharpshooter, but if I could perfect that skill, definitely. Oh my gosh, I did not know that about you. How about you? Would you do that? Yeah, I I personally. Oh, man, I would love to do movies about that. Like, I think it'd be so cool to be, like, in action movies and just be looked at as a total badass girl. But in real life, like, I would never be able to be in the military. Like, first of all, I am slow AF. Like, I am so slow. And then I have wear contacts because I can't, I'm, like, as blind as a bat. And something is always wrong with my contact lenses so, like, I would be in the middle of, like, a mission and my contact would just, like, dry up and fall out of my eye and I would just be, like, there half blind and then it just wouldn't be good. And I also, like, have slow reactions. Like, it's just, it's just bad. How do you feel about the storyline? For me, the storyline was a little bit off. Like, I didn't really like it. Like, it was just save this kid get this kid out and then that was it like there wasn't like up and downs I do wish they would have gone a little bit more into Chris Hemsworth's characters like son and that whole thing because I I do feel like they touched on that and I liked that because it kind of explained why he was so attached to this kid and why he wanted to help this kid so much so I really liked that 
aspect of this movie. Okay. What did you think about the costume design? And I am sporting this nice, uh, I have some fluffy uh, sheer shoulders here that I'm wearing today as inspiration from, <laughs> I was trying to be like, uh, like our sis in the movie, she was super fly the whole time, all dressed up. She was, like, very, like, put together throughout the whole movie. Like, I was jealous of her wardrobe. Right. I would say costume, costume design was pretty, like, on point. There's, like, some stuff that didn't, like, make sense to me. Like, um, I guess, like, in the beginning of the movie, he had, like, these boots, and they were, like, not dirty at all, like, while his leg was, like, dragging. And I was like, what? Yeah the heck like did anyone like watch this and make sure like they dirtied him up a bit more like his bottom i mean if he was running for like so long wouldn't his boots be dirty so that was something i saw and then also like i don't know there's some scenes like they're coming out of the sewer and they weren't like as like dirty as you would think like someone running through the sewer would be so those are like the flaws that i saw but overall like how they were put together was pretty well and it was just like I guess when you're tracking the story and like seeing like all the stuff they went through just throw a little bit more dirt in there that's all I ask <laughs> I, I guess I didn't really think about the dirtiness I was just like living for the ladies costumes I was living for that the villain his costume like his wardrobe was like pretty fly too I was like at least you dress cute I want to ask you about how you feel about that betrayal with Tyler and his best friend. I was so upset about that because I was so excited to see him, you know, he was a loner the whole time in the movie. I was excited to see him kind of like really connecting with someone that he obviously like loved and trusted in the past. He saved this guy's life. And then all of a sudden, like he just... This guy freaking turned on him the whole time he was planning to try and convince him to kill the kid and just, like, they both get $10 million. And I was like, what? And I don't know. It just was, like, very upsetting to me because obviously they had been there so much and this guy just got caught up with the wrong crowd and was just focused on that and not wanting to get mixed up in any drama and was willing to lose his old dear friend who saved his life. So... I thought it was a nice twist in the movie, but I was very sad. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching Movies and Munchies. If you want to know more about Extraction, go and check it out. Awesome. Make sure you watch Extraction and try Ben and Jerry's Netflix and Chill. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And if you have any comments or movies or munchies we should try out, let us know in our comments and we'll be sure to try them out. Yes, please send your recommendations. Bye. Bye. <laughs>